The tradition of theatre for deaf audiences usually places an interpreter on the side of the stage, forcing the audience's eye away from the physical drama. But the Broadway musical Big River does exactly the opposite, where both deaf and hearing actors create an eye-opening theatrical experience by coordinating their performances together. Brought to life by the Deaf West Theatre, the show is not just about black and white people, but about the deaf and the hearing. Big River, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn is based on one of the greatest creations in American fiction. The tale of adventure and self-discovery begins on a raft in the Mississippi River in the 1840s, where Huck, escaping from a drunken father, meets up with Jim, a runaway slave. The lead deaf actor, Tyrone Giondano, uses expressions and signs which coordinate perfectly with other actors' words and songs. What I hope we're accomplishing is a marriage of the hearing world and the deaf culture. For Giordano, being on Broadway is unbelievably good luck. Michael McElroy, who plays Jim the Runaway Slave, is a hearing actor who has several key performances with Giordano. McElroy's fluid stage performance took hours of painstaking rehearsals and for an actor who comes from a traditional theatre background, showed considerable dedication. McElroy said just learning to say the lines and the signs at the same time was the hardest part for all the cast. The show is cleverly directed and choreographed by Jeff Calhoun and was first seen at Los Angeles Deaf West Theatre Company, a troupe founded in 1991 which steadily gained acclaim for its productions featuring the on-stage use of both American Sign Language and spoken dialogue. Calhoun says having a deaf hug permeates the story and adds a great irony and profoundness to the richness of Twain's story. With flawless choreography for the double pairing of actors for each character and soaring musical performances, Big River cleverly celebrates both silence and song on New York's Great White Wave.